Hey guys, welcome to our channel. This is our fifth video in our USA road trip series. We left from London, Ontario, crossed the border into Detroit, went south to see a football game in Cincinnati, a concert in Bloomington, Indiana, and now we're in the Windy City, Chicago. Alright, we have made it to the city of Chicago. This is actually going to be our last city on our road trip series here before we head back to Ontario. Yep. But while we're here in this video, we're going to be exploring parts of the city and trying to check out a bunch of cool places that are mob related. So the first place we're going is to the Green Door Pub. Tavern. <laughs> Green Door Tavern. The Green Door Tavern is located at the corner of Huron and North Orleans, right beside Mr. Beef, the restaurant featured in the new hit TV show, The Bear. Alright, so the Green Door Tavern is one of Chicago's oldest bars. It used to be an Italian restaurant on top and a speakeasy in the basement, and there's apparently still a bookshelf that you can move to reveal a secret hole in the wall where they used to move alcohol. Ooh, I wonder if the show is. The restaurant opened in 1921, and many of the original bar fixtures are still being used today. The bar is filled with old signs and pictures from Chicago's rich past. If you head down the stairs to the washrooms, you'll see a door on your right at the bottom of the stairs. That's where all the bootleg alcohol came through into the speakeasy during Prohibition days. This place is really cool. I love it. Love all the signs. So the next spot we're hitting on today's little tour is a place called Lottie's. So the owner of this speakeasy was named Lottie Zakorski, Zakorski, I believe, and she was six feet tall and she was no woman to mess with. So Lottie wasn't exactly a mobster, but she was tight friends with a lot of those mobsters and politicians from that era. Lottie's used to be a grocery store in Prohibition days with rumors of drinking, stripping, and gambling in the basement. Now, it's a popular neighborhood pub, which also happens to be used as the bar Molly's in the TV show Chicago Fire. I like it. It's cute. It's not as, like, old-feeling as the last one, but it's still nice. That was a really cool bar. Now, we're on the next one. All right, so we've made it to Club Lucky. Club Lucky used to actually be two different buildings, or two different businesses, I should say. It was a hardware store and a Polish reception hall. And what they would do is they would hide all the alcohol in the basement of the hardware store, and they'd have parties in the reception hall, and then they would sneak the alcohol through a hole in the wall into the reception hall. So let's go check this place out. This bar was really nice and a bit more upscale than the previous two, so I felt I should order something a little fancier than a beer. I ordered a gin cocktail since gin was Al Capone's favorite liquor. So that was probably my favorite spot out of the day today. It was just so cute and the music was good, the vibe was good, everyone was super friendly. Definitely come check out Club Lucky in Chicago, guys. Now, we're off to grab some dinner. All right, jump cut. It's the next day. We ended up getting dinner with our friends Ian and Leah, but we ended up just staying at their house, and we didn't end up getting to any more spots last night, but we were gonna resume our little mafia tour right now, and we're gonna start with this parking lot here, which is where the St. Valentine's Day Massacre happened. So Valentine's Day 1929, seven people were murdered here from the Northside Gang by the Chicago Outfit, which was Al Capone's gang. 
So the actual wall that they were lined up against is no longer standing, but it was right about here, just at the edge of the parking lot. Not only is the wall gone, but the whole building has been demolished. But if you want to see the wall, it's actually standing in the Mob Museum in Las Vegas. It's kind of eerie to think that people were just brutally murdered here. It's weird. Gives me the gives me the willies. I don't love it. All right, we are on to the next location. Okay, so we are at the Biograph Theater, and this is the place where John Dillinger was shot down and killed. So the story goes that John Dillinger was in this theater watching a mob movie. And when he came out, there was a guy that lit a cigarette as the signal. FBI were waiting for him. They pulled guns on him. He then ran to an alleyway just down here, which I'll show you in a second, where the FBI shot him four more times. So this is the alleyway, it's only about 10 to 15 feet from the front doors of the theater, but this is where the FBI shot him four more times, and he had a lethal shot right through the back of his neck. He ended up collapsing right here at the edge of the alleyway near the sidewalk. So Lincoln Station, which is a pub right across the road, that used to be a boarding house where a lot of the mob members would actually stay. So of course on this little tour that we're doing, we have only hit a few of the spots. There are so many more to hit, including the infamous Green Mill. So definitely if you're in Chicago, take a look at some of these spots. There's definitely a lot of history to check out. So thanks a lot for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Wet butt. Where you guys going? Oh, I don't even want to do it. Hold well on.